Greetings, fellow woodworkers and makers of great things, and today, people who just like to fix stuff around the house. I've got a little project going on here, and uh, it, it's electrical, and I'd like to share with you a really cool little tool, very inexpensive power supply that I purchased, uh, I don't know, a year or two years ago, and it, it, it comes in real handy. Uh, it, it costs almost nothing. I think you can get it for about 12 bucks. Um, cheaper if you buy a two-pack. Uh, but let me take you over to the bench and show you what I'm up to. So I'm working on this uh, Keurig coffee maker that just stopped working one day. Uh, no power. No power at all. So, um, you know, we, 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 we tested all the, the electricals. Everything's fine. Turns out there is a, um, a thermal shutoff switch in this thing that if it gets too hot, uh, it, it cuts all power. So that thing had tripped because she got too hot. And it's, it's resettable. It's kind of like those ones that, if you're familiar, on, on a uh, gas-fired hot air furnace, where you, once it cools down, you just you just click it back on and, and it goes. Um, but when I got it back together and reset the thermal switch, the power came on, but um, I, I got no no water moving in it. It, it said add water, even though the water reservoir was uh, you know more than halfway full. So that means that water's not circulating. We've got a bad pump or, or the pump's not working somehow. So I got the pump out here and uh, I, I, I got to see if that is um, operable. It, it's not working in the machine. I don't know if it's the pump itself or if it's that circuit board right there that tells the pump when to go on and off. So I figured, uh, let me get this thing out. We'll bench test it real quick and see if the pump itself can function. So I got this pump out and we want to put 12 volts to the leads and, and see if it will, will function. And where do we find 12 volts? Well, you've got 12 volts because you probably have something like this in your shop, a 12 volt battery. It might be DeWalt, it might be Makita, but you probably have a 12 volt battery sitting in your shop. And whether you knew it or not, you can pick up one of these. And this is a Milwaukee 12 volt battery adapter. And what it allows you to do is take a regular 12 volt Milwaukee, pop it in, you got an on off switch, a fuse and, and uh, two wires coming out. I put, I, I put some of these adapters on the wire so that I could put in either, you know, an alligator clip uh, or a probe, whatever I needed uh, for, for the, for the moment. And then I can test 12 volt things. So let's, Let's test this out. Let's put a uh, let's put a clip on the on the black, and then we'll put power to the to the red. I don't know if you can see that or not, and we will find out that oh, it works. And look at that. That is a quiet motor. <clears throat> that that that's turning. Let's see if I can get up to the camera for you. We might be able to see it. But that is turning. I'll cut the power. It That's an eccentric shaft right there. I don't know if you can, can make that out. But that shaft is not centered. Watch when it slows down. And that that thing in turn runs the the, the, the pump uh, inside the, this cap. So we know our, our motor's working, but that's not the point in this video. The point of this video is this is the coolest thing you can buy for about 12 bucks. I really, I really like it. If you are from the Makita tribe or the DeWalt tribe, they have them in, in that uh, ver version as well. Um, but just neat to have around, uh, come, comes in handy. I, I didn't expect to use it on a, um, an AC appliance, a coffee maker, but it just so happened to have a 12 volt DC motor. So. I said, how am I going to test that? Well, there you go. Uh, quick and easy. I've used this to uh, crawl under the dashboard of my car to test a fan blower motor. You can imagine getting into a situation where instead of trying to find a hot and, and, uh, on, your, on, your, on your car, um, you know, or running a jumper from the battery or something like that, you can just throw this thing together and get under your car or get in your trunk or get under your dash or get where you want to go and give 12 volts to whatever it is you're trying to test. Uh, I say car, could be a lawn tractor, could could be a mower, uh, could be anything uh, with a 12 volt battery. And every once in a blue moon, 
you'll find a 12 volt DC motor and something else you're doing. You'll be able to test that. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you.